When you arrive in the US and start gradually settling into your new life, you will inevitably have to get accustomed to a plethora of new things, such as the culture, the lifestyle, the currency, the language, and so on. However, one of the most crucial and difficult to learn things is the taxation system of the country especially for an immigrant. If you find it daunting as well, don't worry, watch the whole video and let us make it easy for you to grasp. You might be thinking, do immigrants even pay taxes? Absolutely yes. Basically, everyone who earns an income in the United States is supposed to file a tax return. According to New American Economy, in the year 2018, immigrants paid $458.7 billion in taxes. These taxes support local schools and social security, etc., and are undoubtedly a vital contribution to the U.S. economy. Before we delve into the details, let's have a look at some basic questions. What is income tax? Quite simply, this is the tax that the government imposes on the income you generate. To determine your tax obligation, you have to file an income tax return annually. In the US, all states are subject to a federal income tax, and some are also subject to a state income tax. These are Alaska, Florida, Nevada, South Dakota, Texas, Washington, and Wyoming. What is the IRS? The Internal Revenue Service is the organization in the United States that is in charge of the country's taxation system. When you file for tax returns, you do so with the IRS. What is a tax bracket? The US government has created seven categories to group individuals based on the income they earn. This system implies that the taxes you are liable to pay are proportional to the income you earn. The tax brackets are 10%, 12%, 22%, 24%, 32%, 35%, and 37%. This means that if, for instance, your income falls into the 12% bracket, you pay 12% of your earning as taxes. When should you file your taxes? Tax season in the US typically lasts from January 1st to April 15th. It is imperative that you file your taxes with the IRS within this time frame, or request for an extension if need be. Are you a resident or non-resident alien? The term alien refers to non-citizens. As a working immigrant, you fall into one of two classifications, which will determine how you will be filing for taxes. These classifications are, resident aliens and non-resident aliens. You fall under the category of resident aliens in each of the following scenarios. 1. You possess a green card which authorizes your right to permanently reside and work in the United States as a non-citizen too. You have passed a substantial presence test if you are not a green card holder, according to the substantial presence test, you are still a tax resident if you have been in the country for 1. 31 days during the current tax year, which runs from January 1st to December 31st. 2. A total of 183 days during the last three tax years, including the current tax year. When it comes to counting the 183 days, you don't include every single day. This is how it works. 1. Include all days of the current tax year. 2. Include one-third of the days from the year before the current tax year. 3. Include one-sixth of the days from the second year before the current tax year. You are a resident alien if the total is 183 days or more. If you don't fulfill either of the criteria mentioned above, you're a non-resident alien. Paying taxes as a resident alien. As a resident alien, the same tax laws apply to you as they do to regular U.S. citizens. This means that as a green card holder, you are considered a resident alien or a tax resident, and you must report all income you earn, including that outside the U.S., to the IRS. In your home country, you are probably taxed on the income you earn within that country only. U.S. laws, however, are different. Paying taxes as a non-resident alien. As a non-resident alien, you must also pay income taxes to the IRS. What's different is that you are obligated to pay tax income only on the income you generate within the United States. The IRS cannot impose taxes on any income you earn from your home country, or any other foreign country. You do get some tax advantages as a non-resident, but this does not mean you should file as a non-resident even if you're a resident alien. If you do so, you can be punished, your resident status can be revoked, and you can be deported as well. On the other hand, a history of paying taxes will speed up the process of you becoming a US citizen. Dual Status Taxpayer 
You qualify as a dual status individual in the year of transition between being a non-resident and a resident alien. As a dual status taxpayer, you are supposed to file two tax returns for the year, one for the portion of the year you're considered a non-resident and one for the portion you're considered a resident. We really hope that this guide to the somewhat complicated taxation system for immigrants in the US helps you out. After all, that is our goal at Immigrants Thrive. It's our mission to provide immigrants with the tools and resources they need to be able to live empowered and abundant lives in the US and Canada. If you require our assistance, you'll be happy to know that we provide consultation calls free of cost. Check the link in the description box and fill out a quick form, and we will get back to you soon. Thank you and please subscribe for more.